Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchy. Today, episode number 140. What do you have on the menu, Coach, today? First of all, we're going to talk about the reviewing the game between Toronto Maple Leaf and the Montreal Canadiens. We're going to talk about the next game uh, tonight against the Ottawa Senator. Then I'm going to talk about what is next for the Montreal Canadiens. How many players are they going to cut? When? How? Then, finally, we have a couple of news around the league and NHL, so don't go nowhere. But before we start, please uh, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live show, and leave me a comment about this episode 140. And let's dive in right away, guys, uh, for the first subject of the day. Here we go, guys. Montreal Canadian for the fifth time, uh, all the exhibition game. They lost again, this time by the score of 5-1. to one. I'm going to talk a little bit more what happening. Some of you, of course, uh, you follow the game, you watch the game. Uh, but I want to give you my impression about this game overall. Uh, the first one I want to talk about, uh, finally, the first overall pick, Montreal Canadian. Uh, Yuri Slavkowski play his best game, guys. Uh, Sen is with the Montreal Canadian. Uh, he was everywhere, shot four times on the net. He has uh, over 16 minutes. Uh, he got stole uh, by Matt Murray at many times. Uh, honestly, he was uh, maybe one of the best players for the Montreal Canadian. And I have a couple of videos from him, uh, and I want to share him with you and maybe teaching you about different things uh, where Slavkowski is getting better and better. And it would be interesting what he's going to do for the next couple of days. But the first one I want to talk about, guys, uh, is this play over there. He got an amazing, great release after a pass from Mike Hoffman. And then he can see that shot over there, really slow motion. Matt Murray still uh, Sarkowski right away right there. And he make a big save with a glove uh, from Matt Murray. But I want to bring you back right here. Right here, here. What Sarkiski, he did not have a good power or strain of his shot right there. I would love him to mat, lock, like lock your arm. I don't want him to lock his arm. It was too close of his right knee when he tried to shoot in the puck. I would like him his blade of his stick a little bit over a little bit, about one foot of his body that gave him a little bit more strength to shoot a puck. And let's see what happening again. You can see his little bit block or lock. And that's a problem he got right away here. And he have no power, but you can see it was not a lot of power over Wild. Again, great play by uh, Sarkowski right there. I think make a good play. Bat Murray still him. The next video I want to talk about, guys, is this one over there. Anderson passed to him. I like what I see for Sarkowski. A great shot, a rebound, and then the one put the puck there. But I like Sarkowski. And I want to mention here what Sarkowski needs to learn to readjust with the speed. Now, he make a big fake over there, but one is going to carry on the puck. I would love him to move the puck right away to the right side of his body. And it put the puck between his skating. It's a little bit too wide when he carry on the puck. But I would like him to move up the puck a little bit more on the right. And then good shot on your inside leg. Great rebound. And then Drouin finish the play to score for the Montreal Canadiens. The two videos I've shown to you make sense to me how Sarkowski is getting a little bit better. I don't know this guy's it's enough to him to stay with the Montreal Canadiens. But honestly, yesterday, I really enjoyed watching him to play uh, with the Montreal Canadiens. Hopefully, he can do it again. The next player I want to talk about tonight, guys, is Monaghan. He's played his first game with the Montreal Canadiens and after his uh, injury. Overall, I, I really like what he did. I think he did pretty good on the face-off. He did well uh, when he played. And by the way, you have a breakaway. I want to show this video. Great move from the left to the right. Unfortunately, he did not move enough or make a fake with his shoulder to make Murray moving quicker. Murray wait until to the end and, and Sean one to the back end to the forehand. I think he would have a better way if he could move the puck from the right to the left quicker, faster, and maybe fake another time. And not only from the back end to the forehand. And when he did that, he was a little bit more too close to Matt Murray to drop the puck on the top shell. But again, 
I think Sean Monen have a great game with the Montreal Canadiens. The next player I want to talk about, guys, is Kirby Dak. I'm impressed by how he plays with the Montreal Canadiens. Consistency for each game he plays, and he gets a little bit better and better. I just love his transition between the two blue lines. And I think if I can read what I saw yesterday, Martin said we prepare for the upcoming season. He looked like a Dak is going to be on the third line. He played yesterday with Hoffman and uh, Slavkowski. But that would give better chance for Dak to be a little bit more successful in NHL right now to play at the bottom six and for the Montreal Canadiens. And I think that would be good for him. The one I want to talk about, guys, is another player. We don't talk a lot. It's Otto Leskinen. I think, for me, Leskinen, Leskinen is getting a little bit more point. And now he's starting to put other players as the defenseman and the trouble. He played yesterday with Madison on the left, on the right D, and he has a good game. And this is a second solid game he gave to the Montreal Canadiens. Like Martin saying, we said, and I agree with him, he's really calm on the ice. He's really see the, the ice very well. Honestly, for the defensemen yesterday, where many of them have a really not a great game, Let's get in possibly it was the best for the Montreal Canadiens overall. So it'll be interesting what it will be the next move for the Montreal Canadiens. And Martin said, we said after the game, I starting to like his game more and more. So we're going to watch him for the next couple of uh, games uh, with the team. Of course, it's not always perfect, and I'm not one to be negative, but I want to give you what happened yesterday and during this game as 5-1. to one, Some players struggle. First of all, Alan Barron. Jake Allen did not do well, honestly, yesterday. Two goals, he, he was not ready. A goal from Kerfoot at the goal line, almost like behind him from the corner, and Jake Allen was not ready to the pose. Same situation. Uh, on the one Nalander was alone, he dropped himself too fast. Jake Allen was not great. The second defenseman, after he had a great game against the Ottawa Senator, is Justin Barron. You can see yesterday, turnover after turnover. Sometimes it's just about his mind. He's, he has a difficulty possibly to forget all the mistakes he makes, and he's still thinking about those mistakes, and he, he becomes a little bit more nervous, and he makes bad choice and turnover. Again, under the goal, I think it was the third one when Nelander was in front of the net. A turnover at the neutral zone, a bad pass. And then after that, the puck go back and the offensive zone or on defensive zone of Montreal Canadien. Battle in the corner with uh, Arbor Jack I lose, lose the puck. And then Justin Barron decide to go helping Arbor in the corner, but he forget completely Nelander in front of the net and nobody was watching him. Again, it's a learning, it's a Mistake will happen a lot. I'm not sure it's really right now. I think the Montreal is maybe thinking to send him in Laval and try to figure out if Les Canin, Jordan Harris, or possibly a player on the waiver can bring with the team to fill up the spot at Justin Barron. So the next couple of games and next couple of days is really important to Justin Barron if he wants to stay with the Montreal Canadiens. The two other players I want to talk about yesterday, we said in my last video, it's going to be a very important week, and this week when the team fill up their lineup with NHL players, you're going to see possibly some rookie struggle. We know Owen Beck and now have a great game against Ottawa. Not a bad game, but not a great game like he did in the past. And I'm very interested to see him uh, again at Ottawa Senator uh, tonight. I'm pretty sure he's been in the lineup. But again, yesterday, Shoneman, oof. Oof, not very good the last two games, but yesterday was worse. And then Harbour, he showed a bit now. This may be the limit what he can do at this moment. Like I said, I know many of you love Harbour. He's not ready for NHL. It's me. I could be wrong. They maybe keep him because his role is specific. He likes to toughness. He likes to hit. But for me right now, for what I saw, he's not ready right now to play in NHL. Nothing wrong with his. I think it would be more be benefit for him to be on the top four in Laval and play on a power play, play on short and third. And I think that will help him uh, to develop a little bit faster and better. Finally, I know he scored a goal. I know. Same thing with Mike Hoffman, guys. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything about this. We have to keep them for one more year. Possible too with Mike Hoffman. Not show me a lot right now for the last two games they play. Uh, with a Montreal Canadian, and that's the reality I want to show to you. Well, the player have a little bit difficult time yesterday again at Toronto Maple Leaf. 
And finally, the Montreal Canadian guys play tonight uh, against the Ottawa Senator at 7 o'clock at the Bell Center. I expect uh, Suzuki and Caulfield uh, play together. Suzuki is going to be his first game with the uh, Montreal Canadiens after his injury. He's going to play with uh, Cole Caulfield. I'm not sure who's going to be his winger. Like I said, when I record those videos, the lineup of the Montreal Canadiens are not up. And I cannot tell you exactly what will be the, the lineup. But for what I saw yesterday, I don't think so many of them are going to play a back-to-back -back game. So expect more to see Owen Beck, Philip Mazar, possibly Jordan Harris, David Savard. And between the parts, it's going to be Montembo for sure. Just want to share it with you, but it will be more interesting. And then two more players. I really like what they did for the last couple of games. is Jake Avon and Rampit Lake. This, they are the bottom six for the Montreal Canadiens. But we need those two players. I think they bring some kind of forward-checking. You know, the back-checking, the defensive zone cover is pretty good. And Jake Evan is solid on the face-off. And both of them can play center winger. So they have some kind of utilities where Montreal can benefit for them. Let's move on now, guys, for the next subject of the day. We have another news. It's happening at the same time I was recording this video. And my phone blew up because the Montreal Canadiens announced they gave an ELC, an entry-level contract of three years at their 33 overall pick NHL Draft 2022. Owen Beck, the Hockey National Show, announced this a couple of days ago. The Montreal will give a contract to Owen Beck before he returned to the junior with the Mississauga still head. This is an amazing, great news. We know Possibly one of the best prospects for the Montreal Canadiens to have an amazing, great cam. Not enough to play with the Montreal Canadiens for, for the upcoming year, but he leave with an impression amazingly about him. He did an amazing, great cam for the Montreal overall. So this is a big news for Owen Beck. And now he can come back at the OHL with Mississauga still had have his contract and then he can focus in more for the upcoming year i can wait to follow him uh, with the mississauga for the upcoming season let's move on now guys for the next subject of the day my next subject guys about the montreal canadian expect them to cut players after the game again ottawa tonight or tomorrow morning about 13 to 15 players right now there are 44 45 players at the camp and i expect them to drop around 26 to 28 because uh, they are going to go to the Maritime Wednesday and play Thursday and Saturday and then saying we want to stay over there for two extra days uh, to do some kind of team building together so expect the Montreal go over there around 26 keep a couple of players for the final part as the defenseman and possibly figure out what happening with the forward before the returning in Montreal and be ready for upcoming season again at Toronto, October 12. So we're going to follow up and we're going to give you all the update what happening in the next couple of days about the roster for the upcoming season for the Montreal Canadiens. And let's finish with the last subject of the day. And the last subject, guys, uh, we do not talk a lot and I think I'm a little bit behind, but I want to share with you a couple of initial news uh, around the league. Unfortunately, the Ottawa Senator did not start very well because they heard their goaltender, Cam Dalbat, is going to be out a minimum for five to seven weeks after an injury of her body. But honestly, this is not a good news for Ottawa Senator. Right away, they claim from the waiver list the goaltender, Manius Elberg, 31 years old. He was with the Seattle Kraken, played only four games in NHL. Again, this is almost more the guarantee behind Anders Forsberg and until the Talbot is coming back in the next two months on the say possibility at the end of the November. Talking about not a good news, uh, this list continues to increasing. I'm talking about the Boston Bruins. Uh, they got another bad news. Uh, Taylor Hall is uh, now is going to be week to week with another body injury. Possibly is going to missing the beginning of the season of the Boston Bruins. Uh, we know they're already missing Marchand, McEnvoy, Ketchik, Riley. This is not great for the Boston Bruins, honestly, for the beginning of the season 2022-2023. And that's it, guys. This complete all the news around the NHL for today. Here we go. This complete, guys, another video of the Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, your coach, Frenchie, episode number 140. We reviewing the game. We're talking about the, the upcoming game for the Montreal Canadiens and, honestly, the 
possibly team on track cup, 13 to 15 players, uh, and finally some news around the league. Uh, I can't wait to see you for the next video. Until then, we want to remind you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show, sharing this video, and finally leave me a comment. And, of course, uh, you, you, and you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody.